Hello guys, welcome to YouTube and I am Surajit Basad and today I am going to show you how to make a login application using C Sharp and MySQL. So for this we are going to open Visual Studio 2015 and here we are just going to uh, create a new solution or project and we are going to uh, keep this name as login application and you can see you can choose the framework and I'm going to choose the framework that is 4.6 and here you can see the Windows form application visual shisha so we are going to press the OK button here and it will uh, create our project and you can see the default form here and just we are going to rename this form dot form one dot cs file as login and hit enter and you can see there is a dialog box that is you are renaming a file would you like to perform a rename in this project of all reference the, to the code element form one so uh, press on this yes button and now we are going to uh, make some changes to this form that is uh, let's say we are going to change the form as sajo ey regular 10 ok then we are going to make the text you can see the text is form 1 and we are going to change it as login and after that we are scrolling you can see start position that is going to be center screen and window state we're going to make it as normal and just going to resize this now we're going to click on this toolbox then a level and we are going to click another thing that is text box the text should be username and just going to make it as this now we have made this username level and our this text box and now we just need to set this as the font size to 10 you can see as we have changed to the form so it is inherited from the uh, form to this font that is CJ UI and regular and the font size is 10 now we just need to uh, select this by con pressing the control button now drag this to here and we have got this level so we need to change this to password and we are going to need to set the button and click on it set it here and we just need to make the button and press the control button and drag it from here and now we just need to uh, make it as login button so the text should be login and the button second button should be clear just to decide it little bit and now we are going to make it uh, to uh, change the variable so for this 
scroll this little bit and you can see the name of text box you can change it as txt user name from here we need to make it as txt password as this is our password so we need to change the password as you can see from the new system password you need to make it as true and we need to change the button variable name as button login and it should be button clear okay now we just need to uh, use our event listener on this button when user clicks on this clear button it will uh, remove all the text inside of two text fields so we just need to click or uh, you can use the double click and you can see uh, the code has been generated and we're going to the design button here we just need to click on this login button so at first we need to work on it so what we can do is we need to call the variable name that is use txt username dot clear or you can make it as dot text as this one i'm going to use the clear function and txt password dot clear and we are going to make the focus to this username text box so to do this we just need to use the txt username dot focus and this this is the thing we need to use on our button clear and on our button login okay so before using our mysql connection we just need to uh, use this method here just to uh, just for the demonstration purpose that is uh, at first we need to create another form so we need to right click on it that then add button and you can see windows form and we are going to search for mdi parent that is a master page you can see and we need to change the name as main or main form click on this add button and you can see all the um, menu strip here and the tooltip and we need to delete all of this and also this toolbox and just for the demonstration purpose I'm going to make it as masters inventory reports help okay as i have deleted all the thing uh, from the menu so it will generate uh, some errors so for this i'm going to click on the start button and you can see there were build errors so i'm going to click on this no button and you can see there is uh, some errors I'm just going to double click on it and it will show us this all the code generated from the MDA parent so I just need to delete from this private void to the last of the code delete it okay now we just need to go to the login.cs here we are going to create and now we need to initiate the main form here by just by calling the main form obj equal to main form then we are going to hide this login button so we need to hide this login button so for this 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 means the parent 
element so the, we we are in a login.cs so it will be hide and then obj dot show so let's see there are still errors uh, cannot be used like a method okay we should use the new keyword here so you just need to click on the start button okay so here you can see the login uh, login screen here we just need to click on this login button and it will open our main form okay so we need to position our screen to the center of the screen and also we need to make it as maximized so what we can do is we need to stop this the debug and go to the main form.cs and you can scroll down a little bit window state should be maximized and it should be center screen okay and also we are going to make another thing that is whenever we click on this close button it will exit the application so for this we need to click on this events uh, button and we need to scroll down for the form closing here you can see form closing click on it double click and it will create the method private void main form form closing here we are going to use the application dot exit so click on the start button again login here you can see the main form so we need to close it and we need to check uh, so you can see private identity child form for number we need to please uh, delete this we ju just don't need this for this demonstration purpose now we need to check for the clear button if clear button is working or not okay uh, so we just also need to use the tab index also because the focus is going to be uh, is the focus is here so we just need to make it as it here so close this so go to the design view and the tab index the first the tab index is one so we just going to make it as one then for this tab index for two then login button the tab index should be 3 and clear button the tab index should be 4 save it now we just need to click on the start button you can see the tab index is coming from here and now we are going to uh, type random word and password random word and click on this clear button you can see all the text fields has been cleared and also the focus is from the username now we need to close this now we need to make a DB connection for the mysql uh, connection so for this we are going to create an, a class file that is here so we need to rename it as db connection dot cs now uh, before doing uh, the db connection we just need to add our uh, new reference for this we need to click on this add and then reference i just need to uh, you can see i have already uh, this uh, mysql uh, dependency that is dll file if you uh, already downloaded the 
this DLL file. You can download the DLL file from the MySQL by searching uh, by MySQL data dot DLL, and you can use the uh, new released MySQL data file. So I just need to use the MySQL DLL file. Before doing this, I'm going to show you where is my DLL file located. So you click on this browse button. You can see uh, I already have this um, on my folder that is version 4.5.2 and that is mysql data date mysql dot data dot dll so I already have included this so I just need to click on this check and now going to click on this ok button so you can see I have this reference mysql dot data and I'm going to use this package system sorry mysql dot data dot mysql client and I'm going to use another package that is system dot data now you can see we have all the setup and now we need to uh, write some code to initialize the DB connection So at first we need to create a private variable that is private mysql connection that is con equal to new mysql connection and we need to provide our uh, connection parameters here. So the server name server is going to be uh, localhost db name is going to be our database name so we need to create a database at first then we're going to create a table for user okay so at first we need to create a database so for this I'm going to open a our application so opening the localhost I'm going to create a new database that is uh, for you can uh, use the user DB and I'm going to use the character set as UTF 8 UTF 8 general CI and OK button and we need to uh, create a new uh, table and going to use the ID type is int length 11 not null key is primary and auto increment and also unsigned and another option is username varchar 255 not null and another thing that is password varchar not null and you can uh, use all the fields uh, like first name last name email address but for the demonstration purpose I'm going to use ID username and password I'm going to save this as users and ok and I'm going to uh, create a new user that is username is admin password is going to be our password one two three and save this and now we need to go to the, our visual studio code here so the db name is going to be our user db password uh, sorry this should be username username is root password is going to be password and the character set utf8 so this is our mysql connection variable and now we need to create three methods for the first method we are going to use a comment for the demonstration that is create a method to return connection 
so public my sql connection get connection and we will return this con property so we are going to create another method to open a new connection that is public void uh, open connection and we're going to check this that is if if con dot state is going to be connection state dot closed then we will use con dot open and we are going to create another method that is create a method to close connection so public void close connection if con dot connection sorry con dot state is connection state dot open then we will use con dot close here we have created the db connection class and we will use this db connection on our login dot cs here So before using our uh, DB connection, uh, we need to check further that if this or this uh, field is empty or not. So we need to uh, check for it. So if txt username dot txt dot text dot equals empty so we are going to show the message with message box dot show <coughs> message button that is ok message box icon dot error so we just need to use login failed user name field is empty username requ requ username is required and also we need to focus on this that is txt username dot focus and also uh, else if Uh, txt password dot text dot equals so we are going to use message box we need to copy this to here and txt password dot focus and here we need to make it as password is required now we are going to use the else again so here we are going to show message box dot show ok so click on the start button when I am going to click on this login button username is required 
uh, by default this is uh, opening here so I'm going to hide this so if I click on this login button you can see username is required I'm going to use the username login password is required here you can see the uh, focus is here and if I click on this login okay now I just need to close this and here I'm going to uh, use the MySQL connection so for this I'm going to uh, use the package that is using MySQL dot data dot MySQL client I just don't need the my system dot data because it is already here so at first we're going to use the uh, that is we're going to uh, initialize the DB connection here that is uh, DB connection con equal to new DB connection here and here we just need to use uh, I think I should uh, use this DB connection uh, inside the if statement else statement here and another thing that is my SQL uh, sorry data table table equal to new data table my sql data adapter adapter equal to new my sql data adapter another thing that is my sql command cmd new my sql command and a string that is a query is going to be a string so we're going to use from the query here select star from users where uh, user name is usn and password password is equal to pwd so we are going to use this string copy query is here so let's check it from here that is usn that is username is going to be admin and password password one two three and click on this run button you can see we have this thing here that is id username and password so it should work now we need to use the uh, that is um, cmd dot command text is going to be query cmd dot connection is con dot get connection and cmd dot add parameters cmd dot parameters dot add that is uh, mysql parameter value then she, this should be our usn uh, mysql db type dot varchar and this should be dot value and the value is going to be our uh, the text username 
uh, that should be txt username dot text see we need to copy this from here and the value should be this one txt password dot text and we need to change the this as pwt and this is also virtual so now adapter dot select command is equal to cmd adapter dot fill table now we need to check for the if table dot rows dot count greater than zero if uh, the result uh, the count uh, count of the result is uh, one this means uh, it is greater than zero then we will uh, use this code from here and we just need to uncomment these lines if uh, username and password is not valid then we will show in message box dot show you can use it as warning and we need to show that is user name or password is invalid or you can use invalid username or password and here you can use login failed okay now we need to uh, check this code so all is working fine so we need to use the wrong username that is user one two three and click on this i think there is an error i think the error is happening here and unhandled execution <coughs> type system argument execution occurred in system data dll additional information option not supported i think i have made some mistakes here so the server is localhost DB name user DB username root password is going to be password character set UTF 8. So we need to uh, rectify this. So let's check the connection string here server localhost DB name. Oh, this should be our database and username i think it should be user and password and character set let's see if it's working or not user one two three login invalid username or password okay and if i use admin password one two three login you can see our main form it has been opened so we have successfully developed our login form using c -sharp and mysql hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel for the upcoming c -sharp tutorials thanks for watching good night